Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing some half inch head studs in both of these dart blocks. They're both uh, LS Next blocks, SHP Pros. And uh, we're gonna be using this Tick Performance head stud fixture. So stick around, I'll show you how this thing works. So this is the Tick Performance head stud drilling fixture. Uh, when you guys get it, if you buy this, it, it's gonna look a lot better than this one does. I've used it a lot. It's been scratched up a bunch, but uh, it's a pretty, pretty neat fixture. They send it with the, uh, the half inch tap that you need and, and the drill bit and even the guides for the drill bit. You know, you put those in the hole and the drill bit goes down in it like it should. And then same same for the tap they send you a, a guide for the tap and these little spacers to stick in this plate so that you can run your head studs down in there and bolt this fixture down but uh that's enough talking let's go ahead and get these head studs installed so first thing you need to do is just get this thing on the on the block they even send these little uh dowels with it so that you can put them up in the uh, in the fixture so that they'll locate on the on the deck surface there be lined up perfectly all right and after you get that on there you need to install some of your regular head studs to hold this thing down the these dart blocks already come with 7 16 studs so i'm gonna go ahead and run these 7 16 studs in there to hold this thing down. This is a pretty pretty neat little plate. Uh, if you want to do this yourself, obviously you can pay a machine shop, um, send them your block and they'll they'll chuck this thing up and, and drill and tap your block for you. But it works pretty good um, and it saves you a little bit of money. Obviously, if you use it more than once, it's definitely going to save you money. Uh, and the plate works pretty good, you know, if, if the engine's already in the car and you don't want to completely take it out and disassemble the engine to send it to a machine shop, you can pull the heads off, bolt this fixture down, drill them out in the car, you know, vacuum all the shavings out. Obviously, you don't want to get anything in the engine, um, but you can do it that way. This, this isn't the case. We've got these engines tore down, so we're just doing it here on the bench. And... Um, not going to pay a machine shop and save a little money. So got all the, the studs in there. You slide these little spacers down on there. And this just helps locate the plate. And then you'll just go ahead and put your, your nuts on and hold this, hold this fixture down while you're drilling and tapping. All right, so after you get the plate bolted down, then you're gonna to wanna to chuck up your the drill bit that they send you. It's a 2764, and they send you this guide. So just uh, drop the guide down in the hole that you wanna drill, and they send this little set screw with it as well so that the guide doesn't pull out. Just run that down in there and hold it tight. And now that guide can't come out and you're ready to drill that hole. All right, and after you get that one done, just pull that guide out, take your little set screw and just move it to the next hole.
All right, and after you get the, the center ones drilled out, you gotta go ahead and tap them so that you can put your half inch head studs in so that you can remove these outside ones or else you won't have anything to hold the fixture down when you're, when you're doing these outside ones. So um, grab the, the guide that they send you and the tap actually has to go down in the hole first and then the guide goes over top of it or else you won't be able to get it down in there. And that tap cuts through the iron block like nothing. So I'm sure on an aluminum block, it would be even easier. And um, I've got a drawer full of taps over here. None of them like this. This is a really, a really high quality tap and it works great for doing this. It's a, it's a spiral fluted tap. And uh, as it's cutting the threads, it's bringing the shavings up and out. So the shavings aren't in your way down at the bottom. Um, so it's a real, real high quality piece and it cuts through it like nothing. So it screws all the way down in there and bottoms out and that hole's done. All right, so I got all the inner six holes done. So these are the half inch suds in it now, and they're holding this fixture down. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the outer four half inch studs, and it's the same process. Just slide the guide down in it and drill them out. All right, so we've got all the half inch studs in and went pretty smooth. So this is what we're upgrading to and from. This is a regular 7 16 stud and this is what we're replacing it with, the half inch. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference in size there. The half inch stud provides a lot more clamping force. And LS just by design has a pretty poor um, head stud bolt pattern so anywhere that we can get a little bit more clamping force i'm gonna try it but um all in all this is a it's a pretty cool plate and um if you you know if you need to to do it while you're in the engine's still in the car you can do that but we got it just so that we could do it on our own stuff and a couple couple local people's engines and um it's a little cheaper than sending it to a machine shop so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side knocked out and then jump over to that box. We'll see you guys later.